Take another look. Keep an eye on the 09. Whoops, there yeah. it goes. See a tire let go right in the center of the corner. I think right now. Very reminiscent of Stephen Wallace's uh, car where he just snapped around up there. He also pancaked the left side. All right, guys, this is fun. Hit the wall. That same spot. And here comes Johnny Benson. Benson's going to slide out of board. Sprite's going to slide out of board. And Kyle Busch is going to win this race. What kind of finishes can we have here? Oh, Bobby Labonte got hit hard by the 50 truck. And then the 75 came along. But what amazing finishes we've had here at Atlanta. Almost coming up. And you know the 25 car drifted up the racetrack. Yeah. He got down underneath Bobby Labonte. He pushed and he pushed right into Bobby. All the cars coming down pit road and they're... He's already backwards, so we really don't know what happened. But you're probably right, Bob. Probably they start slowing down because those cars slow down the inside. See those flaps? They work. 75 they just getting by. See Todd bow down. This car, this truck's all bowed down on the right front there. There goes a piece of something out of one of the trucks. Steve Park is holding his breath, hoping he can slide by here, but he doesn't quite make it. I'd like to back that up and watch that again because Todd Bodine's truck was really low on the right front. But then something flew out of it, looked like the six truck. Bobby is uh, coming up off of turn uh -oh. two, and uh, that's, that's it's uh, John Andretti. That's John Andretti behind him, and, and once again we get into this speculation situation. We don't want to see the flaps come up there to keep yep. that car nailed to the pavement. That takes all the pressure out of the inside of the car. That keeps it from lifting up. Right about here, it's impossible to get that car off the inside wall. It just jumps right in. Very slow. He's getting passed by just about everybody, and, and he loses it. Yeah, he, he cuts right down into Bobby Labonte. Bobby hit him with the right front and just turned him right up right up on the roof just all at once. You see the other cars there just victims of circumstances. So Dale Jarrett, Morgan Chapman. There's the 25 car of uh, uh, Hensley. Hensley was involved in it. Morgan Shepard. See Labonte's car just continuing to roll over. Uh, it's just one of those unfortunate things when a restart. You see right here the 38's coming down to change lanes. He just, there isn't room. He comes across the front bumper of the 15, spins him to the bottom, and it's the field very tight. You see farther back into the field, the 16 and the 10 get in the back, and the 22 spinners come up across the track. And that's what happens in these tight packs when there's a spin way up in front of the pack. Everyone gets out of the gas, and it's so hard when you're only a couple feet apart. Another hard impact there with the 30. Top of your screen, there his car a little sideways, and then there's contact with David Rudiman, and Labonte's car goes sailing, boom, head on into the concrete, uh, the inside wall. Well, it's a good thing that safer barrier is on the inside as well, because that was a hard impact. Yeah, it's great that the tracks looked at that. and, and that's Hanging tough here on the restart. Oh, here oh, we, we go. Got trouble. That's Casey Kane that goes sideways. Joey Logano nowhere to go. Oh, my. Clint Boyer the field through the grass. Gone. The big one at Daytona has happened at lap 97. That is the huge one at Daytona. Justin Allgaier. Oh, and the Denny 18 Hamlin. gets on its roof. And Kyle Busch rolls upside down. Right in the Richard Petty shop. Here's a slow mobile. On the replay there, we see that the Morgan Shepard car has already been taking a hard lick. Everybody taking evasive action, trying to get by. There goes Darrell Waltrip through, right down here in the bottom of the screen. And everyone running over debris, smoke clouding up the entire... Right there. Catches it with both ends. Completing a lap. The body spun in traffic in turn three, collecting Mike McLaughlin and Ernie Irvin and sending a total of 15 competitors spinning on the speedway. The cars of Labonte and Davey Johnson burst into flames, but both drivers... Watch what happened to Bobby Labonte. Again, a late exit, just like off of turn four. The car just snapped around a hard hit to the inside wall, but there is that safer barrier there, thankfully. So the six Jay is right. Oh, Labonte is spinning. Bobby Labonte. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, and Chuck Bound becomes a victim, and other cars do also. Bobby out way too early at Michigan. Six laps complete. Kurt Busch leads under caution. This early for anybody. Onboard camera right away on the bottom. Run to the bottom. Ooh, just lost it. You all right, bud? Well, that thing just spun around. Car. Larry, what's this do to your race strategy? Well, I was just sitting here studying. We've got... We see... Labonte going up, 
And then all the cars start checking up, and whew, man. In front of Bobby Labonte, he backed off just a little bit. Yeah, well, you got to back off somewhere over. down going into that corner anyway. It's just you yeah. hope the guy behind you is paying attention, and David Reagan ran up on Bobby Labonte and turned him around and started all of this. We can see some heavy, heavy, and there the planes. Not only do they ignite in Nemechek's car, but also those cars behind them. This Bobby. looks like uh, Sterling Marlin's car up in, Mar in uh, Bristol last year. Doesn't it remind you of that? Yeah, it does. Bobby Labonte. That had to be an eternity for Bobby Labonte. You could see him lock it up in the 18 and try to fight his way to the bottom to get out of this mess. That's the result. After a look at Steve Park, and as they come to green, oh, look at Labonte in the 44. It's happening. Morgan Shepard. On the break. Oh, there they go. Somebody hit on it in the wall. Again, a big crash going down to the corner. Five, six. Uh -huh. You know, it's, 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 just, it's just a product of this kind of racing. We all understand that. That's why normally these guys aren't that upset with each other. Well, that's just part of it. Boy, Ryan oh, Newman down to the apron and back did an amazing up. Amazing job. Wow. Amazing job. Let's watch it go to you from a slightly different look as LePage bounces off the wall. Almost caught Steve Park on the way by. Yeah, I see, the, see the 80 car there? He just, uh, I mean, he never slowed down. He just, oh, he got him a double. He got him a double shot. Look at Robert Press. Oh, man. He and Buckshot Jones almost got it. Bobby Labonte makes contact. Back of Gillen and get into the corner here. Oh. Oh, my goodness. The hard oh, one. Right across in front of Labonte who backs that car into the guardrail. There comes the 77 of Hornish. Coming in from the right and it and never sliding turns. Up. It just looks no. like that's got to be right front tire because it never turned. When you see one hit up the track like that, that's usually a right front tire. Coming up out of the corner, there's Junior on the inside of Marcos Ambrose. You see Junior down on the apron, loses the traction again, gets sideways. Ryan Newman gets pushed into him by Sam Hornish. They both make it through, though. Then it just starts stacking up behind him. See, Casey Mears just sliding his way through White, there. Number 96. There's Hornish. Oh, Ooh, wow. Straight Man, Bobby. I think Bobby must have run up on that accident. Oh, Bobby, 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 Bobby just lost it. One. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, oh Rusty. 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 Yeah. See him coming off the inside, though. Well, the two cars there bumped a little bit and run him right up into the wall there. Who is in that first car? Pinned him against the wall, the car just went by. We talked about it. Oh. That Kurt Bush just took off, got into the wall. And Bobby ran into Kurt. Yeah, yeah. that's all. Behind Labonte in the 47. Andy Castle got a piece of that also. See here, well, Kurt hard, Bush. Hard look for, for Kurt Bush and Bobby Labonte. It looked like that when we had followed Michael Waltrip and Bobby Labonte that Bobby was. Wow, that was a great job by Kyle Bush for sure. You also see Joey Logano try to snake through. He was the back of this pack. There's a contact, Michael Waltrip and Bobby Labonte. David Reagan gets the other side of Labonte. Yeah, Reed Sorensen in the 43 just snuck by there also. Because you're up there, you're up there, you make the wrong move. Trouble. Oh, big, big. Menard and Dylan Junior. Hart Junior. Junior. And Biffle. Right there, he's digging there. You got one spot in the grass. He's digging. 88's torn up big time. And Bobby Labonte against the wall. Oh, yeah, there's a smoke, all right. My that my. was a hard lick. It Very. really was. And uh, Boy Junior just tried to move up a little too quickly and caught the back. front at the side of the car. He also hit the 22 car. We might add that he hit Bobby Labonte as Labonte was going by there. And I don't know if the, the rear tire fell off. A lot of smoke of Bobby Labonte going the wrong way. You see right there is Bobby Labonte. And he's, he's already slow on the front straightaway, like this tire had gone down maybe just off the corner. And that's David Gilliland in the yellow and white car that caught the back end of Labonte's 47. Danica. Got a good look at this, too. Come on now. Oh, oh there, there goes Biffle. Biffle. There you go. All right. 
two. Much Caution's of a out. Caution's out. Over. So the race is over. Wherever they were at the time of caution. Race is over, and they're all wrecking. This looks like which line they want to go low, want to go high. Oh, Montoya. Something that Montoya I, got turned. Yeah, yeah he, got, like, he got turned. It looked like Montoya shot down was there. wanting to move around, and when he did, he just got clipped. There's Not a, a Mayfield's car in, in flames, the 41. Select won't be happy memories. You'll see there's Lake Speed, the blue car in the in the grass. You'll see he and Bobby Labonte into the wall. Ouch. Wow. Mm. Boy, Rusty did a heck of a job missing all those guys. He did as well. Drive these cars are trying to get through it. You see Morgan Shepard looks like he must have some damage to his car. Rick mascar has got some damage. Lake Speed's car. Now, Jimmy Hensley, I believe he got. It just seems like it inevitably on these restarts. Ooh. Dale Jr. gets in the back of J.J. Yaley. Kyle Petty just rams into the back of uh, Joe Nemechek. And they just start stacking in after that. They have got a little help yeah. right there. See Jimmy Johnson just sliding by that. Saw the contact of the wall. Okay, looks like Bobby Labonte was on the inside. May have got a little air taken off his rear spoiler, and he just spun around and collected a little bit of Todd Bodine as he slid up the banking and backed it into the wall. And that impact against the wall with that back of that car just ignited that fuel. See Earnhardt number three down on the bottom. Lucky there. Morgan Shepard scoots underneath him. I liked it when we were battling and racing, and that's why when we got in the back, we kept trying to go to the bottom to get to the front. Oh, trouble on the racetrack, trouble right. way up high, and we now have the big one here with 44 laps to go, the five car involved. McMurray is there, Rudiman is involved. You probably wondered what in the world, <laughs> you probably like Casey Kane was with the, with the Truex Rick. What are these guys thinking? This. Mm. Pretty good contact with the wall. I saw the smoke. I thought he'd hit the brakes when he got in the middle of that three car line. Well, we see Kyle Petty spinning. Jimmy Spencer, Bobby Labonte goes through. There's Hush Strickland back, and we see Labonte's going to hit the wall. Jimmy Horton, maybe. No, it's not Horton. 32. Close racing here. Well, the closer you get to the finish, the more desperate drivers become. The more daring, because the reward is so great. It's racing with Michael McDowell here off 11. He just gets turned. Wow. Mm, yeah. I guess. Wow. Meanwhile, there's a bell. Bobby Labonte gets sideways. He stands right up in front of the field. He slams in the wall. He was unable. These cars that are being shown on the tail end of the lead lap. Oh, contact. Strader is sideways. Big Gillen is in it. The one car of Truex, the 17 car of Kenza. Look at that hit. Oh, my goodness. Seven cars got a bunch of damage also. Looks like Steve Park in the 30 and maybe Bill Elliott. I saw Elliott spin. Maybe Steve Park as well. Right there, just too many cars moving around. The two, the 38, and it got Jimmy loose. And unfortunately, Bobby was on the outside of him. Was that the uh, 47 car? Yeah, I believe it is. Billy Standridge. Billy Standridge. He's going to touch car. Rick Mast. Touched him just a little bit, sent him around right in front of Bobby Labonte. Bobby tried to get slowed down, tried to spin sideways into him. And you watch those cars go down across the track. Labonte gets hit hard by. Was that Jeff Lodive? That was Dick Trickle that hit okay. Labonte okay. really hard. And Rick Mastro. Only down getting fuel. Ooh. Martin's not going to make it. We got oh, trouble. Caution out. Caution on the track. And Bobby Labonte. And what happened? Mark Martin was trying to get the pit lane, and, I, and he was slowed down in the racetrack, and I think he's got... Still slowing down. Ernie bounces off the wall. Mark Martin going round and round down the back straightaway. 
Oh, trouble, trouble. Ernie Irvin, Steve Park in oh. front of Michael Walter, who takes out Sterling Marlin. Being hit by others, Mike Skinner spins. Earnhardt, Earnhardt. Oh, here Earnhardt. comes Bobby Lee. We come off of turn two again. Right there, see, Ward Burton got pushed around by that car, and that's uh, the four car. And he got in the back of Tony Stewart. Of course, Tony Stewart won air here. And it was Ward Burton's car being sideways that blocked up the track for everybody behind him. Boy, and it gets hit by every car in the field, seems like, and Tony Stewart's car just took a whale of a ride. That must be at least 30 cars in that wreck. From Tony Stewart's onboard camera. Wow, just broke loose. And that was... Wow, see the rear come off the ground? Oh, that's a lot of smoke for just... Your screen. There's Andretti getting in the fence. Now Bobby Labonte, whose car will end up... There oh, he, he hits Andretti. Yeah. Andretti was stopped yeah. in the track, and Labonte came along and hit him and then slid up into the wall. Bobby is... Sterling Marlin's car. We saw it, those loud oh, blown engine going into turn two, and somebody's up in the wall hard. It's Bobby, Bobby Labonte. Oh, a tough break. He run such a great race here today. Bobby Labonte, and he lost it. Coming up the back end, starting to get away, and then he hit down on the inside, and you see the damage that was done to the left side, even cracked the wall. Uh oh, Kyle caught up. Feel the Cordelian's back. Man, trouble. Oh, Stewart in the wall. Here we go. Here we go. Robbie Gordon's in the 33. Harvick is around. Here we go, guys. The big one. Just a matter of time. At least 20 cars. At least. Even in the top 35 right now. Well, it's Casey Mears that got loose first. I think the think that really started a little further up with those guys reacting to what they saw. For Bobby Labonte, though, who has won here six times. It's already over. Just like the day. Looks like it happened going in turn three. Down the hill, and now all of a sudden, they're four wide. And Hamilton gets in the left rear of Bobby Labonte's car, and we see the car start tumbling down the back straight. And there's not a whole lot you can do. Automatically tighten the race car up, make it push a little more. Bobby, La La Bobby Labonte's around on the back, y'all. He just went around and off the two. And in the wall. The green flag, the green card gets tagged from Skinner. And then the 97 in the back of the 31 car. And also the 33 car, I don't know if Schrader was involved or not. He was up there high. Looks like he pulls up there and maybe stops. He does pull up yeah. there and stop. I get it. Anyway. That's like an event from a pizza oven, and there's been... And there's a spin! There's trouble! Upside down. Schrader. Schrader's number 25, side over side, end over end. Another car in trouble and also getting airborne. Terry Labonte is involved. His car spinning around on the grass. There is Elton Sawyer spinning around. Rusty Wallace there. There's Lake Speed. There's Rick May.